Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with the ninth time I'm recording this video uh, because I keep making mistakes because there's a lot of steps. Today is my first video that's kind of sponsored actually. Actually, I think I've had one in the past, but this is kind of sponsored by my, box, my boss at work. He wants to see what it would be like for us to make YouTube videos and tutorials for certain things. Now, this probably isn't something we'd put on a company-based YouTube channel just because this is FRP bypassing and we don't want people thinking we steal stuff. So he's fine with me putting this on my channel. So I want to thank him for that. I'm not going to say my company name in the video because I don't want people trying to find me. But this is an FRP bypass for a Samsung Galaxy Tab A2019 SM-T290 uh, on a specific firmware. You may be able to flash this specific firmware using Odin if you are not able to do this bypass. Um, you'll know by the keyboard, actually, and how the startup is, if you're able to do this bypass or not, because the uh, settings icon on the keyboard will actually be fully black instead of just a black outline with a white background. But I'll tell you the specific uh, firmware for this is Android 10, QP 1A.190711.020 slash T295XXU3BTFE. And I'll have all this information on a web page soon on techx.onl. But I just wanted to get the information for you guys from the screen. And now I'm going to restart the tablet and we're going to start the FRP bypass. So I'm going to unpause this once the um, tablet is ready. All right, we're back. So tablet's all booted up. It's ready to go. Um, I had to make a phone call or else I would have been back sooner to continue this. But... Actually, I don't even know why I said that. That was pointless for you to know. So we're going to hit Let's Go. Um, it's going to ask you to insert a SIM card if it, you can. For some odd reason, it asked on this one when this one doesn't actually take one. Uh, you want to agree to everything. Hit Next. And then you want to connect to your main Wi-Fi as well as uh, once you're connected to your main Wi-Fi, scroll down, go to Add Network, go to this little square guy, and hit go to Galaxy Store. Once you're on the Galaxy Store, it's very simple. So the first thing you're going to want to search is a web browser. Second thing you're going to want to search is a file manager. So I recommend searching uh, Firefox. This is already kind of pre-set up. Um, I didn't want to go through and like erase it and do this all from scratch. I wanted it to be at least a little quick. But as you can see, I have Firefox installed. You will need to log into your Galaxy App Store account um, and verify, uh, do the two-step authentication, uh, verification or whatever it's called. If it doesn't send you the email, don't worry about it. Just wait out the like two and a half minutes that it takes for the timer to go down during the verification and then hit verify by text message. And it will actually verify your account by sending you a text message to whatever phone number is attached to the Galaxy Store account. If you don't have a Galaxy Store account, recommend making one on a different device rather than the device you're actually working with so you don't run into any other issues. And then just log in like normal, um, do the verification, and go from there. So as you can see, I have Firefox installed, and then you want a very specific file browser. I've tried with other file browsers. I don't know why other ones don't work. Um, but you want to go File, ex it's File Explorer dash File Manager, parenthesis without a space, small and then it's going to be the very top one this file explorer file manager small and fully functional i have that installed already too from here you want to actually go back and open up your web browser so just hit the little x hit firefox open the browser with the little play button thing and once you're here I have a web page set up temporarily, but this stuff will also be on techx.onl soon. So you'll be able to actually just go there and get these two APKs, no problem. Download SL5 and you'll download uh, uh, technocare.apks. Once those are downloaded, uh, it'll ask you for permission to download them. Just to enable it, allow it, and go from there. From there, you want to go back until you're at the Galaxy Store. Hit the X for the search thing and open up the file explorer. Once you have the file explorer opened up, hit APKs and you want to install sl5mod.apk. Um, I already have it allowed to install it because, duh, uh, just make it a faster video. But hit 
just allow the installation like normal. Hit install. You just hit the back button whenever you need to go back to something else. Once the launcher is installed, you'll go through the basic process of setting up the launcher, which is very simple. Uh, hit open. It'll open up your launcher. You go through the process of just setting it up. Hit the little X thing when you're done. Slide up from the bottom, go to the settings. And from here, you wanna make sure of two things. So first go to security, security, uh, other security settings and device admin app. Make sure that Find My Device is disabled, and then you'll be fine. Uh, it doesn't show it in here at the moment for some reason, but whatever. It will be there on 90% of attempts at this. From there, you also want to scroll down. You want to go all the way back to Main Settings. Go to Apps. Apps. Hit the Search button. Search for Google and open up the Google Play services and hit disable. Once you hit disable, you're good. Now you can go all the way back to the launcher and you wanna open up like my files or something like that. From there, um, allow it to view your uh, internal storage and look at uh, APK files. Select my downloads folder because that's where they are and you wanna install the TouchCare app giving my files permission to install apps. Hit install. It's going to go through the installation process. I promise this is a real FRP bypass. I'm just have it kind of preset up because I've tried to record this video so many times and just made little stupid mistakes. But once you have that, hit open and it'll actually have a bunch of things listed. You just hit continue at the bottom uh, and then close the app. Go back to the main screen, go to settings. Make sure that uh, find my device is either missing or disabled and Android device manager is also disabled. From here, scroll down to accounts and backup, accounts, and you wanna hit add account. Go to Google and type in your personal, whatever Google account information you wanna type in. So I need my phone next to me because I have the verification to log in enabled where I have to click yes or no on my phone. So I'm going to log into my Google account real quick. I've done this so many times, I don't think I'll ever need a tutorial for it again, at least for tablets similar to this. This should work on any Samsung tablet that's got this variant of um, this security update or this version of Android. I'm going to log in. I'm going to hit yes on my phone. From there, it allowed me to log in. I'm just going to hit I agree. And then the step that I kept forgetting and kept leaving out is hit back. Hit back. Hit close. Hit back to get to main settings. Go to apps. And you can look at disabled apps. Open up Google Play services enable it, and restart your device. Restart. From this point, once the device restarts, you'll go through the setup process as normal. And um, when it's back on, you'll go through the setup process as normal. When it's back on, you'll ignore my messy house, and uh, it'll detect that there's a Google account already logged in under uh, settings and you'll go through the setup process as normal. And then you can go in, remove that Google account if need be, and the tablet's all ready to go. So we're just gonna wait for this to boot and I'll show you that it is a true bypass, uh, that this is FRP bypass, this isn't fake, although I should probably re-record this with it actually proving that it's locked. If you don't believe me, and you, if you comment in my comment section, and didn't actually go through this and try it and say it's fake and I ask you, hey, did you try it? And you say no, I'm just going to laugh at you because this is real. I've done it on three devices today. Hit next. Read your stupid crap. Because they don't own your soul. Go. 
let it connect to your Wi-Fi. Connected, hit next. And it's checking for updates. It might get some updates uh, depending on the tablet since I've already tried to go through this once and forgot the step of enabling Google Play services. I might already have the updates installed. I'm not sure. So this might be faster than normal. We'll find out here in a moment though. There we go. So hit next. Because you gotta agree with everything again. On my Wi-Fi, hit next. And as you can see, it says account added. That means that my Google account is on this device. Hit next. Getting account info. It's going to sit here and spin for a while. And as you can see, it's going to ask me to copy to, uh, any data from another device. Don't copy because this actually isn't my tablet. It belongs to my boss and we're probably going to sell it. And it's going to go through. As you can see, it's doing the normal setup process as if this is a new device. We go more, more, accept. We're going to skip adding a password for now because I'm going to just reset this again. And as you can see, it's asking me if I want to install Microsoft Office and Spotify. Oh, whatever. I'll just scroll down and go to OK. It's going to do the finishing touches for the normal setup. And it'll take me to the launcher screen. And then I can go in, I can uh, remove my Google account, reset the device again uh, in the recovery mode, and it's no longer got an FRP account on it. It will no longer be locked at all. So we're just going to hit next. I hate the setup for Android accounts sometimes. All done. Finish. Just a sec. And there we go. We're on our normal launcher from Samsung. It's just taking a second to load. There we go. The FRP is bypassed. Uh, I'm going to go in. I can remove my Google account by just like opening up the tab, hitting settings. And you want to do two things here. You want to, one, remove your account, and two, uh, delete the uh, touch care APK. So we're going to go accounts and backup. I'm going to go accounts. I'm going to select my Google account, not my Samsung account. I wanted my Google account. This thing is just really slow during setup. Uh, select my Google account, hit remove account. That disables any FRP lock that could be on the device. Back, back, go to apps. And the Techno Care app, I keep calling it Touch Care. Techno Care. We're just going to search it because it's easier. What the heck? No. Okay. It all right, fine, whatever. I'm going to just scroll to it. Uh, Techno Care Tricks is what it's called once it's installed. Hit uninstall. Hit OK. And now that Touch uh, Techno Care is uninstalled, you can actually go in, just factory reset the device once more if you want, and it'll be all good to go. That is all it takes to bypass the FRP lock on a on a SM-T290 tablet or any variant of this specific Android version uh, for Samsung, which is software information, uh, build number QP1A.190711.2020.2021.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
the software that's on here. That is the July 1st, 2020 Android security level patch. So as long as you can try to install that patch, you'll be able to bypass FRP on these tablets. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If I really need to come back in and make this for people to actually believe that this is an FRP bypass with it actually like, I mean, it was actually FRP'd, but whatever. Um, if I need to actually come in and like do some shit and all that, actually show that it's locked and then go back and do everything, I'll remake the video. But at the moment, I'm not going to remake this video. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Information will be on techx.onl uh, soon. I'm going to actually, I can't see around my camera. I'm going to actually go to techx.onl right now. Good lord, that's an ugly uh, post that I have. But I'm going to go to techx.lnl right now to remind myself to do this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, peace out.